Concerned residents showed up in force to a public meeting tonight to get answers about beach access. Their issue surrounds access to a beach fronting the 300 block of Portlock Road, which is home to a surf spot known as Seconds. Recently, a gate was installed that restricts people from walking through the area. We first told you this morning on Wake Up Today about tonight's meeting. Alexander Zanes is there with a promise from a city lawmaker. Alexander? Yeah, Joe, the meeting just ended. You can see here behind me. And of course, there were many subjects discussed tonight, but the overwhelming majority of people, dozens in fact, were here to talk about this gate in Portlock. Now, in tonight's neighborhood board meeting, residents spoke to the board about what they believe is the get what they believe which is the gate should be taken down landowners had complained of illegal drug activity noise and trash being left behind in the walkway to the beach the question then was raised whether or not the stretch of property where the gate is located should be condemned and of course residents say regardless of ownership the city needs to take action to keep the beach access to the public and in the process we always had discussions about public access my father-in-law wasn't born here. He was born in Shelbyville, Tennessee. But he understood that living on an island, everybody should have access to the beach. So in the 20 years that he was president of Pollock Association, he fought against gates. So what is happening all around our island, not just on this side of the island, is more private landowners are closing off access to the residents and now we just have landowners like this one claiming that we are intruders. I don't like that word. I am not an intruder. That is my public beach. It's not a process that's going to happen overnight, but the process has begun and uh, for that, and I'm, I plan on doing the exact same thing here. So I do plan on condemning that land and doing it the right way. The mayor fully supports beach access, the public access. But he also, we, we also feel that we, we need to make sure that everybody respects also private property rights. So there's a real balance there to be held and to be reached. And the owner of the property that put up the gate wasn't present in tonight's meeting, but Councilmember Ozawa says he has been in contact with him. And again, a very spirited debate tonight or wh about whether or not the gate should be should still be up or should come down. We're going to continue to follow up and let you know what happens. Reporting live in Hawaii Kai, Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.